I think all of us panicked at one time or another because we had the first album and it was kind of, you know, successful. It's not a huge album, but it went pretty well. And uh, this time around, for the first time, there was expectations. Like people were expecting a lot of it. And us, I think we were the ones yeah. expecting the most out of it. We had, you know, huge pressure on ourselves. So we wrote, I don't know how many songs we just threw away. <laughs> we wrote, Probably 20 years. Yeah, whatever. It's just, you know. But we tried, basically the idea was we tried everything, but let's not say we can't do this and we can't do that, let's try everything that comes out and then we'll sort, you know, the stuff that doesn't work away. And the main uh, difference from this album to the last album is this one's recorded live, mostly in the studio in Berlin. Uh, which is what we wanted to do, I mean, when we did the first album we didn't really have a sound of our own. Bad, you know, we did about four or five shows or something like that before we started working on the first album. And uh, we basically tried to sound like other bands that we liked. So this time around it sounds more like us, I think. I think we handled most of the arguing before we went to the studio. Yeah. And in the studio it was more like the band versus the producer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, Rick, press record. Play! Play! Yeah, it was different. No, but there, actually... There, there were too many arguments. No. I, I was afraid there was going to be, especially you and me, I thought we were going to like bite each other's heads off. But it didn't happen. Yet. No. Uh, but I think we all want to go in the same direction. All of us want the same thing. We want you know, the song to be as good as possible. And it's, it shouldn't be about ego, like I want to play this or I want to have this. It's all about what's best for the song. That's what we did. And I think from last time, I think everybody realized that everybody just wants the best for the band. It's not about, you know, what a, you can have opinion differences, but we all want the same thing in the end. We've all played in several bands, right? Yeah, we've yes. done, I know I've done a lot of uh, Troubadour stuff, been playing weddings and stuff like that, but also like, you know, I had a couple of grunge bands and stuff like that when I was 14 to 18, you know. But this band, it's, there's, there's not much of a story to it. It's quite boring, actually. We met in school and we kind of put it together and that's about it. It's kind of funny because we, we did a lot of stuff that most bands never get to do. You know, bands that start out, newcomer bands. We had... First of all, we got to record an album, yay, you know, and then the album got out on a record company, yay, and then we had a number one single, and then we were number one on MTV, and then we toured these places, and then we sold out these shows. We had so many amazing things happen for us, but we didn't stop uh, to realize it, you know? We were just working and working and just touring and touring and playing and just like, uh, 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 and f you know, it took a while to realize that, and when you look back, like, wow, we've done some really cool shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but one of the biggest moments for me was last summer when we played a festival in Germany called Area 4. And uh, Danko Jones uh, were one of the headliners that night. And we met uh, before our show, and they were checking out our, our entire show from the side, just standing there, like, <laughs> digging it. And then I was standing on the side stage when they played their show, and uh, it was like during the last songs or something, he was like making this speech to the crowd, blah, 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 blah. He was like, true royal republic. And everyone was like, ah. And that was a pretty cool moment. Well, I was really surprised the first time we came to Poland, which was on the last tour. And we went to Warsaw, we went to Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, and I was really surprised that so many people showed up, as many people showed up as it did. And uh, like we just discussed it. That was a pretty cool night. We had like a lot of moments on that night. Yeah. We had the football game on, the Sweden-Denmark football game, the qualifier for the Euros. And uh, that was exciting. Me and Jonas were sitting backstage trying to get a radio signal to listen to it. And Jonas found helium tanks backstage and got totally high. Yeah, it was and kick And we like lost ourselves when we were trying to walk to the stage through like the kitchen and stuff. We just walked spinal tap the wrong way. And then when I went into the crowd to do a guitar solo for Tommy Gun, they picked me up and they like threw me uh, at this girl. I landed on this poor chick in the front row and she like broke her leg or something, just bleeding. <laughs> and I, uh, it was awesome. Yeah, so it's good night. In, <laughs> it's a standard rock night in Warsaw, I guess. You know, that's the way it goes down. But I've but seen a, I've seen a lot of good concert footage from Poland and the Polish. 
people seem to be really into rock and roll and have a very healthy concert uh, market. It, seems, it looks really cool. I can't wait to tour there. No, yeah, definitely.